The process begins. Easy is getting a breast reduction. Okay guys, you know what? I decided to follow her journey. Why the fuck not? I've been asking for something real and she's coming with something real, so I'ma start doing it. Young Easy Vlogs uploaded a video called Getting Breast Surgery Part Two. Now that title's a lot better. Breast Surgery, perfect. Now let's get to it. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. I am finally getting surgery and um, this is like, this is like, this is such an amazing day for me because I have really big breasts and um, I'm finally getting a breast reduction and I'm leaving for Miami literally in a few hours. Here we go. Hey, how are you? How are you going, man? Oh, yeah, very nice how to you meet going, you. Bro? You ready? I'm ready, bro. Here we go. Let's oh, do it. Very good. <laughs> the handshake with the doctor, yo. With the uh, surgeon. What are you? It's the doctor, what? girl. We here to do surgery. Hello? <laughs> oh shit! Why y'all didn't tell me y'all was coming? Hey y'all! You know the edge of the slate and like girl. How y'all doing? What's up? We in Miami? It's beautiful, it's sunny, and guys, I got, I'm trying to give a lot of, oh god damn, I'm glistening, am I sweating? Oh, that's my lotion. Okay, so I'm <laughs> glistening, I'm shining, as y'all can see, I'm in my jammy, you know what I'm saying? And today's the day, y'all, like, I'm trying to give out positive energy and just have high vibrations, but I'm going to meet my doctor today. Like I said, I'm nervous about this, y'all know why I'm out here in Miami. Y'all gonna see the boobs, y'all gonna see the full, up close, and personal, how big these things are, and he's gonna tell me what size size we're gonna get them to but make sure you guys like and subscribe right now if you guys aren't subscribed and spam this video y'all wish me luck wish me luck there's nat nat the support system gotta have it always <laughs> if y'all ain't seen on easy x natalie by now nat nat is with me um you know i have not watched that video to support me um what do you feel like about my surgery baby like I'm so excited for you i know you've wanted this for a long time and the thought that you're finally like going through with it and stuff like that. And I know this is like a big yeah. thing. It's huge, so I'm just really huge, excited. huge, it's huge. So crazy, y'all. Like I was saying in my other video that Natalie is the reason why like I'm actually getting it. She's the one that persuaded me to get it because I was, you know, like I said to you guys before that I was trying to wait and hold off until you know I had kids and stuff like that. But because my baby was just like live for you and don't be, you you can be selfish. You gonna get it? Yes, you struggled enough, girl. Do you? You might as well get it while you are in your prime. But like you don't know when you're gonna have kids, and you just like tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> have, the way have Natalie fun. laughed. Well, <laughs> bitch, no, right not tomorrow. You don't have kids. You don't yeah. Have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell them what you said. Tell them what you said before we got in the car about my head. Uh, so, so we got big ass head. Do I got a big ass head? I think Natalie's head is way bigger than mine, y'all. Look at her head. Y'all should see it from the back. Like, what? <laughs> hold, the, hold, hold them. This is what I saw. I'm I don't got a big head, but I got a big forehead. It ain't big. What are you talking about? I was like, damn, you have a big ass head. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Baby, he gonna be feeling no my titties. I know. Girl, he gonna be like, be doing that? He gonna be, do it? He, no, he gonna be like, okay, so I think uh -huh. you gonna, I know, mm. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. He, gonna be, he gonna be like, yo, like, all right, okay. It's crazy because when I go to the gynecologist or when I get my physical done, I prefer a woman. If someone's gonna be touching up on my body, looking at my body, I need you to be a woman just like me because, you know, we on the same page, you know what I'm saying? Some women prefer men. Uh -huh. to, to each I ain't really had men touching my boobs well, in a long time. I was gonna say, and no. also, keep in mind too, the majority of surgeons are men. So it can be kind of difficult to find a woman surgeon, but they are out there. They're out there. But this is the best of the best. Then I understand why you want to pick him. Oh, oh, get a get a good. Y'all can't really see the boobs. Y'all gonna see it in there, but when I wear black, you can't really see the boobs. Show, just just show them all. Did you get my gut? I don't know, baby. Oh, did I know gut thing? I didn't know. Uh, right, I know we got a lot of here we go videos, but here we go, just thought of something. What? You know when you always be like, my titties are sweating. That's where your feet is lying. My titties are sweating? Yeah, you know my titties are 
Wait, do you think they still gonna sweat? That's what I know. Not as much. Not as much. Because you don't think they'll sweat? I mean, they do. They still do bad. sweat. Yeah. Yes. You be talking about it all the time. <laughs> Listen, because I'm a, what's it, a 34A. I'm probably a B. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing the wrong size. But they still sweat, y'all. They sweat, they hot. They sweat. That's, wow. R.I.P. to that same. Damn. We got to do a Instagram live with the sweat. Y'all got to make a Instagram live with the sweat. Y'all got to make a Instagram live with the sweat. Y'all got to make a Instagram live with the sweat. Y'all got to make a R.I.P. video. Like all the moments I talked about my boobs, all the moments that I've like shown them. You know what I'm saying? So, there's so many moments, and yeah. it should not be hard to buy. Yeah. Okay. So do that for me right now. Look at these titties. Should I get more titties? Should I get more ticket? That little ticket. That's a little implant. Right there. Hold on. Look at that one. That's a big implant right there. That's a big ticket. That's my ticket right now. Right now. That's my ticket. This is my titty. Two or three eggs. <laughs> Those are sizers. <laughs> Those are breast sizers, guys. You're right, baby. Put that down. I clean those, so they feel a little mushy, you know, like, it feels like... <laughs> when I do it, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but I... <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> oh, my God! For those who missed the first video, go check it out. Click onto it. It's my reaction to her part one. I explain what I do in my career, which is why I'm looking at this in a different perspective as well coming from surgical services, so bear with me. Hey, how are you? How are you? Doing, man? Well, very nice how, you doing, how are you? What's up, man? I'm doing good. I'm excited. Not You're filming? Excited. Yeah, good. I'm nervous, excited. Excited, yeah. nervous. Because most clinics will not allow it. You don't want to get sued. Dr. Williams examined Izzy's breast, explained the outcome and the process. Got you. Here's the explanation with clothes on. Hello. Oh. I'm here with Easy. She's coming from the West Coast all the way to Miami. We're going to be talking about a breast reduction. Yep. Full disclosure, I've already seen Easy. We've already had like a formal conversation. He's looking the other way, and so is Easy. So, what's happening here is the reason why they're able to film and vlog this is because he is actually filming for whatever he's doing a documentary of his own, or a series or episode of his own, whatever show he's got going on. There was probably an agreement and contract. Can I film this process? Yes, as long as I can. That's what's happening. Uh, consultation, we've talked about everything. We're gonna kinda just review things again. Right. Just to kinda go through things. So it's happening, it's happening. Okay. You, it's, you. It's you. <laughs> I need to go, take them off, Doc, let's go. Okay, so tell, tell me what, what you're interested in and just disclose whatever you feel like. I don't know who this doctor is, by the way. If he's popular or, he's, he's got, or you recognize him from a show, let me know in the comments below. I mean, too personal, obviously. But. So pretty much, I literally just want a breast reduction my entire life. Well, not my entire life, but after high school, they just was like big, big, you know. And then my, my posture just went from this to this, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, dang, my neck, my back, everything, my crack, everything. <laughs> but it was literally just uh, a lot of pressure. And I actually got X-rays, and my spine is kind of messed up because of my hunchback. So I'm just like, yo, my mom went through it. Um, having big breasts, my aunts, everybody, so it's time for me to do it. I'm just like, it's genetic. I need a, I need a reduction. You know, these need to be little, little small, tiny, it, as small as you can get. So, I mean, that's, that's basically, you've said everything that I've heard, like, yeah. literally hundreds of times. Right. Patients with large breasts, yeah. it's a genetic thing. The breasts start out, they're, they're just genetically made wide. Yeah. So they get big, they get heavy, and then they cause all the problems. I don't know if they cause problems with the crack, but <laughs> usually it's problems with the neck and the yeah. back. Uh, patients are, you know, can't exercise. And it's it. also because she's on his video, it's good for her to show her personality, her comedy side, her comedic side, because it's also a good way to promote her brand. So if someone doesn't know who Easy is, but they're a fan of his, they're like, oh, this girl's kind of funny. I want to know her a little bit more. I want to look into her stuff. So good for her on that promotional level. Go time yeah. clothes. And I'm like, you know, jumping. It's like my boobs, one boobs going this way, boobs going that way. I'm just like trying to jump rope. You know what I'm saying? Like, or when I'm sleeping. And this is, it's a lot. It's a lot of movement going on, you know? So we're going to do a breast reduction, um, which, uh, you know, making her breast smaller. And it's a big scar. It's, a, it's all the way around the areola, down underneath. And then it's an anchor pattern. And so I like to be really forthright and upfront with how long the scar is because I have to make the scar as wide as the breast is. Right. And also, it, it is also very important to pick a great surgeon because 
the best of the best will make such a sharp cut to where the scar is not gonna be so big. It's not gonna be so visible, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have a scar regardless, but you want it to look as natural as possible, so I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. And so yeah, that's why yeah. your breasts are big. That's why you're here. If you had a narrow breast, you wouldn't have like a big heavy breast. You I guess I got narrow ones. I got perky not, ones, yeah. You know, they just something that was really pop right out. Way. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's a it's a uh, anchor pattern scar. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make your breast. She really you really want to go small. Yeah. I'm gonna make you as small as I can. As I mentioned, I have to leave some volume there to be able to get the best shape. So patients like easy are very easy for me because you know they want to be small <laughs> small 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 yeah so for me it actually makes my job simpler because what i do is i make your breasts as small as i can yeah but i have to keep a little bit of tissue behind in order to number one preserve the blood supply mm -hmm. right that we talked about to the nipple and the areola so i have to have a certain width of that breast there yeah and then uh, we have to leave enough volume to have a shape unless you're transitioning and you choose to do that you can <laughs> i do that it, mm -hmm. patients are usually happy we kind of get like a nice happy medium where you get something that's much more livable for you it's more manageable right. it feels i remember easy saying she wanted to go to a b I think C would have been perfect for her, but it's her body and whatever makes her comfortable. So B still gonna look cute on her. Be cock out. Relieves. No, they're not gonna be. Cock <laughs> you are gonna have one a little bit higher than the other. Remember we talked about that. Yeah, my, my, one of my, it's because one of my boobs are literally, you know, it's everybody's boobs. It's they're normal. not perfect. Yeah. Right. Totally they're normal. Not Nobody has. It's symmetrical. I get two patients a year mm -hmm. that have perfectly symmetrical breasts. Right. Wow. And I put implants in them, and they go straight to. Instagram. Dang! <laughs> just like that. <laughs> because they have perfect breasts, but yeah. it's just written in reality. Yeah, right, it's not natural it's, to yeah, in reality, for it to be that way. Not, I mean, nobody has breasts that are exactly the same height, yeah. the same position, right. the same width, you know, some right. are longer. We talked about all that stuff. You have normal asymmetry. Yeah, okay. And so you're going to be normally asymmetric after surgery. Right. There's nothing I can do that's going to move one breast higher or exactly. lower. Exactly. Just like I can't move one of your ears up or down. Yeah. And it's just the way it is. If and that's because he's using the same size implants in both. So whatever shape yours is, it's going to be that way. He started looking at all of us, mm -hmm. you know, and starts measuring like, oh, this and that's a world. Oh, you'd be like, oh, I didn't know my left ear was, I didn't know my eye was right. like this. I didn't know one of my lips was like this. My hands, my knees, my feet, whatever you have two of, there's always going to be some asymmetry. But yours is normal, totally normal asymmetry. So. Normal. So wait, I have a question. Can I show them like just my, what I look in a bra or no? It's up to you. Whatever yeah. you feel. Just so you guys can whatever know. Whatever you feel comfortable yeah. with is totally up to you. Yeah, I don't mind. Just so you guys get that visual of like, all right, went from this to that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's look. I'll show y'all. I'm not gonna. Don't look at my gut too much. Also, she's got a sports bra, so that kind of tightens it a little bit. But without it, I can just imagine. <laughs> They're double D's. Now we're not working with tomorrow. We're not working with what? With your gut. You said. No, no straight boobs. Good. Just the boobs. Just, I know. <laughs> just the boobs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the before. Remember these? They would be no longer. They bet. They bet. The double D's. Let me. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see my boy? Can you see? It's still beautiful I'm asking, though. Bro, it's still beautiful. He's like, I'm not talking. He's like, I'm just the camera guy. Yeah. All right, get the side. I'm in your befores here. <laughs> All right. He's just like. Nice. <laughs> They're used to it. They're, they see breasts all the time. You ready? I'm ready, bro. Here we go. Let's do it. 10,000 likes for the surgery. Listen, I ain't gonna like it. We all we all interested in watching it, okay? We want to know how the surgery goes. Well, there you go. Um, this is coming from a different perspective. I do work in surgical services, so I have a little bit of insight, just a little bit. I ain't no doctor, I ain't no nurse. I'm here for the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.